I just w would like to ask you about the scalability of Bitcoin. Uh, what, options, what options has Bitcoin right now and what are the advantage and disadvantage of each, each of the options that are? And what's your opinion that which, which of those options should, be, should we, uh, the community adopt? Oh, that's a very good uh, question. Also a very easy one to answer. All of them. Um, I did a talk in Prague, uh, which has been videotaped and will be videotaped. <laughs> I'm over 40. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> recorded. There we go. Which has been recorded and will be brought back soon. Um, its topic, the entire presentation was about scalability and why scalability is something that doesn't get solved. It just gets pushed further out as we scale to different types of applications. And so the question, what are we going to do? Are we going to do a segregated witness, or raise the block limit, or invertible bloom lookup tables, or thin blocks, or replace by fee, or etc., etc.? The answer is really simple. All of them. And then we will run into new scalability problems, because the moment we create space, with these capacity improvements, people will look at that space and think, hey, I can do something I couldn't do before and then that space will be gone. And that story repeats. The internet is an example of a technology that failed to scale gracefully for 25 years. If Bitcoin manages to fail to scale gracefully for decades, we are in a very good place. So yes, we will do all of those things. The debate now has narrowed to the point of which one do we do first, and is it this month or next month or this year or next year, which is really just an engineering issue, um, and is not worthy of all of the drama and recriminations um, that happen in this space. Uh, so yes, we will do that, and I'm very confident about scaling because ultimately scaling is an engineering issue. And Bitcoin has within it the capability to scale, and not just that, but we are seeing the very, very smart people working in the development space of Bitcoin inventing new ways of improving scaling all the time. And it's not just the five I mentioned. There's like 20 proposals on how to continue to scale Bitcoin. Will it scale ultimately? on its own without another layer? I don't know that. Maybe we'll have to do more layers on top. As long as they're trustless and decentralized, I'm okay with that. But it will scale.